What's astounding to me is with this BDS movement, how insidious it has in, in, um, infiltrated into um, all aspects of our life, it seems, and all ages, um, and, and particularly the teenagers now. In I noticed a friend of mine who has a, a, a child in Robbinsdale High School in Minneapolis, that they've got a teen group for uh, Palestinian rights, for BDS. And so they're obviously teaching the next generation uh, to hate Israel. So what I have noticed though, Barry, and that is really disturbing to me, you and I have talked about this, is that there's so many liberal Jewish leaders, progressive Jewish leaders who align with and who support uh, the squad or uh, directors of care, you know, and people who are uh, pro BDS, they don't have a problem with that because they have that tikkun ulam social justice uh, virus. Really, that's the virus. Um, <laughs> that, that's a real virus, by the way. <laughs> that's the real virus. And, and there, and I call it, it's, it's committing suicide when you align with your enemies so blatantly like that. And it emboldens them and endangers Jews and all. Do you see a way out of that um, in, in the American Jewish leadership? the liberal Jewish leadership, which is probably pretty much most of American Jewish organizations? You know, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I, um, I was very sad this morning early. I was watching uh, Fox News and they had Geraldo Rivera on uh, commenting that Israel is committing war crimes um, by defending itself, by blowing up, say, the AP building in in Gaza, never mind the fact that they've been sharing the space with Hamas for 15 years and didn't know didn't it. Didn't know. Never they, went down the hall and said, how come you guys have all the rockets in your office? They, they must have never, hired uh, deaf people and blind people to be their, their investigative employees. Reports. They didn't see the rockets or hear the rockets, just. So Geraldo Rivera, much to my disgust said, I'm a Zionist and I'm a Jew and Israel's is committing war crimes. He's, he's insane. And, and to answer your question more directly, um, many American Jews are not as connected to their religion from the Bible, which we call the Torah, same book. Um, they believe their religion is progressivism, yep. which is I'm going to save the world. I'm going to save everybody. I don't really care about my people. I'm going to save Ethiopian um, orphans and I'm going to save dolphins and I'm going to get involved in global warming. And they get sucked into this progressive, um, I guess it's a mindset of semi-insanity -in and they're disconnected from reality. You know just because you're born into a faith doesn't mean you're of that faith. The most profound example of that, I think, in the recent history of, say, the last 50 or 60 years is George Soros. As a young man in Budapest, um, he was Jewish and signed up to work for the Nazis to identify the roundup of Jewish property for the Nazi party. And while he was doing that in Budapest, my mother, my father, and my entire family was in Auschwitz. So you've got this guy that says he's Jewish that said on 60 Minutes, I can't believe the words came out of his mouth, in his whole life, the most exciting time he ever had was working with the Nazis in Budapest collecting Jewish property. Now, would you call that guy Jewish? I sure wouldn't. I'd call him a Nazi sympathizer if not supporter, enabler, etc. But there are people like him, not as bad, but with the same philosophy of, yeah, I was born Jewish and maybe I had a bar mitzvah, but it doesn't mean anything to me. And this God schmod thing is no big deal. And I don't get the whole Israel thing. I would never go there because why would you want to go there? I'd rather go to Disney World or I'd rather go to a convention and listen to Bernie Sanders rail against capitalism, you know? Yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, that is a, it's a big, big problem here. And a lot of my friends and my Christian friends ask me, you know, how are they, why do they support 
Palestinians and and uh, why are they anti-Israel? And it's just really a question that's hard to answer because for you and I and our audience, it just doesn't register. I used, to, I, I used to be on One American News, um, oh my goodness, probably twice a week for about five years. And there was a host there, he's not with the network anymore. And, and I would sit at the panel and he and I would be on sometimes three days a week. And I would say to him, do not ask me that same stupid question today live on the air because it goes out live. And once the question's out, everybody's heard it. And he'd go, okay, I promise I won't. And we'd come back from break. Hi, I'm back with Barry Newsbaum. So Barry, can you explain to my Christian friends why they are better friends of Israel than your Jewish friends are? And I go, oh my God, he did it again. And he loved asking that question because they had tremendous amounts of call-ins that couldn't understand the answer. If I had a dollar for every time somebody asked me that question, and you know what's coming when you meet somebody and they find out you're Jewish and they're maybe evangelical Christian and all, and then they lean over, they're like, can I ask you a question? And you know, know it's coming. coming. You know it's coming. And the, then it, there you the, go. The evangelical Christian community in the United States of America is more Zionistic than any average Jew. And God bless them, okay. please. And Israel, when you go there and you meet the political leaders, and believe me, I have. I've been with Bibi, and I've been with the ambassadors and the generals and uh, the people in the intelligence community, and I mean a lot of them. And they all thank God for the American Christian community, and they all know it. Why? Because the Christian community gets the importance of the state of Israel, not just spiritually, or from a religious point of view, but politically. Israel is the canary in the coal mine against world terror and Islamic Jihad. They get it first and they report back to the United States. This is what's happening. This is what they're doing. This is where they're infiltrating. And what do we do in America? Well, we elect Joe Biden, apparently, uh, at least he's president, and he's going to make a deal with Iran and give him more money. The two or $300 million he gave to the Palestinians bought a whole lot of rockets.